Spinelli said that you wanted to see me tonight, and I appreciate you thinking about me because I'm thinking about you too, and I wish I could see you instead of sending you flat. Well, now you know that I'm sending you flowers. Um, I haven't made any progress on Franco yet, so I'll just uh, check in with you later, okay? What? I just think you've made a grave error in judgment. Because Jason's a tragic hero whose life invites unexpected danger. Yeah, well, that too. But what I want to talk to you about is how I didn't appreciate the two of you conspiring to try to throw me and Mac together. But you belong together, Mahan. Just give it a chance. Girls, I'm sorry, but this is not going to happen. So you're saying that you haven't had a good time with Mac, like every time you guys have hung out so far? And I never said that. You don't think Mac is handsome? I think Mac is a very nice looking guy. So you admit there's an attraction? The Not that kind, Molly. We asked Sam what she thought and she agreed with us. You could have asked Sam anything. She would have told you anything you wanted to because she wanted you out of the house because she obviously had plans with Jason. Which, if you think about it, is actually a very textbook example of romantic symmetry. Sam and Jason lost each other, found each other again, and are now more in love than ever. Really? What textbooks are you reading now, my love? That jacket is not going to be warm enough. Okay. Sam's a lot happier now. Yeah, Mom. Why wouldn't you want something like that for yourself? Okay, I need you to cross-reference a list of places Franco's been while he's while he's been in Port. What? Just don't call it that, if I may. I, I know I previously stated this, but I, I really think you need to reconsider my suggestion that you, you, you made a grave error in refusing fair submission. Okay, you know what? I don't have time for relationship advice right now, Spinelli. My own trials and tribulations with Maximista have given me insight into your relationship with Fair Samantha, especially as it relates to the darkly focused one. Fine. What? Okay. Franco is a formidable adversary, and he has a distinct advantage over Yeah, him. I'm aware of that. Thank you yeah, very yeah, much. He, I, I think his advantage lies in the fact that he is not hindered by fear for loved ones. And that he's been planning this for months? Yeah, indeed he has, and it has become rather obvious that his gamesmanship has affected Stone Cold's actions and his... What are you, what are you trying to say right now, that I'm stressed out? I am stressed out because I'm dealing with a lunatic, and if there's forensic evidence on Claudia's body, Michael could go to prison. I'm not trying to discount the, the, the troubling nature of the threat that Franco poses. I I just think that if Stone Cold truly does wish to triumph, he, he also has to utilize his various resources, like the Jacko cyber skills, and utilizing his beloved fair Samantha's offer... For him to relax. Well, you think you think Franco's just taking a night off? I think it was Da Vinci who touted the necessity of relaxation. For when you return to work, your judgment will be sure. I mean, there's a part of me that feels I should be with Sam tonight. I think you should trust your keen instincts. What are they telling you? That's the problem. I don't know anymore. Any longer. This is not a good time. When is it ever a good time for you? Lulu took off on some huge romantic date with Dominic, and that made me realize that I miss what we had together. You know, the real us, not the us we are when we're ignoring the fact that I cheated on you with Franco. So please, Spinelli, we need to fix this, and, and you are going to help us. I don't have time for this. You don't have time to do Spinelli and me a huge and necessary favor by ordering him to cheat on me with another woman? Max Misa, this is manifestly not a... No, Spinelli, please. This has gone on for way too long, okay? We need to make this right. Don't let Franco ruin the best thing that I had in my life. We are both miserable, and that's not how love is supposed to be. 
yet it so often is. Uh, Spinelli and I have some work to do, so... We're talking about love here, okay? Just like you have with Sam. I know that I made a mistake. I get that. I'm trying really hard to fix it. I just need a little help. I mean, wouldn't, wouldn't you fight for Sam? Okay. Your, your sentiment is, is most appreciated, Maxim. You say it's, it's your questionable methods which give me pause. What's so wrong about a mistake for a mistake or a hookup for a hookup? I mean, we already, we already talked about this. I thought you got it. Yeah, it's, but it's a, it's a philosophy that I, I cannot embrace. I undoubtedly agree more with Mahatma Gandhi, who wisely declared an eye for an eye and soon the whole world is blind. What does that guy know anyway? He wasn't in this situation. I, I think what Spinelli's trying to say is two wrongs here don't make a right. Could you stop being so stubborn, please? You're the most important person in the world to me, and I just, I really want things to be how they used to. Okay, Max, I think you're being a little too hard on yourself. I mean, Franco used you and manipulated you. See, so I'm practically the victim. Okay, okay. even though he did manipulate you, you still betrayed Spinelli's trust. But I know how much you love Spinelli, so I think you need to give him however much time he needs to forgive you. Have you been watching a lot of talk shows or something? You know what, if Sam calls, tell her I'm on my way. Okay. What exactly was that about? I think your words prompted Stone Cold to finally realize that even he sometimes needs the support and comfort of loved ones. Well, if even Jason will listen to me, why won't you? Could you please just stop fighting me on this? I slept with Franco and you have to pay me back. Pick a girl, okay? Because we're not going to be able to forgive each other, like Jason said, until we're even. Yeah, I, I do not wish to inflict the pain of infidelity. I just... want you to hurt my feelings. That's the point. Just like you were hurt when you found out that I slept with Franco. Like I said, we will be even. I don't want to hurt you. Ever. And I already believe that you're sincerely sorry for your actions and that you were unfairly coerced and corralled by the darkly focused one. I see no good in continuing this cycle of hurt. You are the only woman for me. I do not desire anyone else. Come on, Spinelli. We all have fantasies. In your mind. I accept you the way that you are. I, I just want to put this unfortunate chapter behind us and move on with our non-marriage full throttle. I guess timing is everything. What is it? I called in a huge favor with some of my Crimson connections, and I guess one of them came through. Came through with, with what? The personal phone number of a certain A-list celebrity actress. Anne Hathaway, ring any bells? <sighs> That's right, Spinelli. Your huge Hollywood crush is only 11 digits away. Why don't you give her a call?